Hi Capricorn, welcome to your May Singles Love Tower reading. So Capricorn, we are looking at singles. And for me, this could be how I read this. It could be someone from the past coming back. It could be someone totally new coming into your life. It could have been a mis it could also be uh, about a missed opportunity, maybe a crush. It could be someone new that you just met and you're just dating, getting to know them as well, but it's not serious. So it could be any one of those scenarios. So we're going to see. So we do have the... Um, Okay, we'll take that one. Psychic Tarot of the Heart. Oops. So we're going to see what kind of energy we're playing with first. And then we'll get into the Cosmic Tarot and do your main spread. I'll actually be doing two spreads. Capricorn, I'll do a small spread for you, looking at your energy first. Then I'll do a much bigger spread for the energy around you and see what's going on regarding love opportunities or whatever the case may be. All right, Capricorn. So if you feel at any time... Capricorn, it's not your reading. It's totally fine. You can leave it for someone else. You can check out other readings on the channel. I do have listed below in the description box. Some of your able readings, you can still watch them. Um, readings should be timeless anyway. This is just when the messages come out. So you can check those out along with your May Love reading. You can check those out if you like to. Uh, but if you're new or returning, welcome in. Welcome in. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. And thank you for the return, uh, viewers. This is Mary, and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. So we're going to see what's going on. we got the Cosmic Tarot, and at the end we also have the Divine Feminine Oracle. So we'll pull some of those at the end for extra messages. But let's look at these. We're just going to read them out first and get the energy and see what's going on. So we have the Hierophant. It says Teach. And Fives are about change. We have the Star Energy, which is about healing. And we have 17, which is 8. And that is infinity, travel, action, movement, putting in the work. Wow. And we have the death card. You're getting all majors so far. Death card 13-4, which is stability and foundation. And three, share the love. Three of cups, which could be about courting, dating, getting to know. So I definitely see here... Um, it could be you, it could be someone maybe you know or dealing with, or maybe it's your energy that there has been a release, ending a new beginning with death here, something definitely over, releasing that, um, transition, transformation into the new. And we do have, and sometimes that can be reuniting, or for me, Three of Cups can just be celebrating, it can be courting, dating, getting to know social energy, healing here with the star, faith, hope, optimism, streams coming true, divinely guided energy, things meant to be, uh, balance and healing. And the Hierophant here, it's definitely a big level up, faith, um, spirituality, religion, morals, traditions, values, standards, could be marriage, commitment, blah, 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 uh, growth, expansion, learning, teaching. So, hmm, I think what I feel like here, um, Capricorn, some of you have been married in the past and you've probably done your work. Maybe it's been like five years and you're like, you know what, I haven't even dated anyone and I'm ready to kind of put my heart back out there. Look at that, putting my heart back out there. You know, maybe dating, getting back on the dating scene because I've done the release, I've done the healing, I leveled up big change and I'm ready to date and see what's out there for me so we do have here a uh, Taurus Aquarius and Scorpio okay all right let's see so I feel like this could be about um, new love definitely here or maybe you are dating someone right now you know maybe maybe you're dating someone who has been through like this kind of energy and they haven't dated for like five years or maybe it's our energy maybe it's both your energy maybe we have two people here that have been you know through the same things in a way you know been single for almost the same amount of time and now coming together and connecting as well so it could be you them either or both whatever but let's see but we're going to look at your energy first capricorn let's see let's see Somebody actually could be a teacher, mentor, guide, uh, something like that as well. However, it can also be uh, a business owner, entrepreneur, uh, somebody who works for a huge franchise, business, corporation, um, or, you know, just a leader in some sort of way as well. Nine of Cups reversed. Page of Cups reversed. 
magician. Hmm. So we're looking at your energy death reverse, though. Though we do have it upright there. Hmm. Queen of Wands reversed. And the Page of Wands. So... I kind of feel like for some of you, um, Capricorn, you may have, I'm kind of feeling like you may have like an offer come in for someone who's attracted to you, but you may not feel either like you're ready or you're not feeling attractive or you're not feeling, because Queen of Wands in reverse, I mean, Queen of Wands operates like the go-getter and the fiery, passionate, you know, they make their dreams reality accomplishment spirituality knight uh we do have the page of cups reversed and the page of wands upright nine of cups reversed though could be a little bit of an unhappy energy but not quite feeling fulfilled it's like i feel like i kind of feel like you're like like you want a new beginning but you also feel like if an offer comes in then i don't know if i'm really ready or if i feel worthy or if i feel determined or fiery or passionate enough to pursue still feeling a little kind of stuck there with that death energy in reverse maybe about things of the past so it's like you know i'm looking out to the future with that magician energy and if new love comes my way am i really ready i don't know i feel like i'm ready but then if it comes in i don't know if i'm ready that's kind of what i feel here so we do have Gemini, Virgo, Scorpio, two cards of Scorpio. No, that's Pisces with the Page of Cups, Aries, Sag, a lot of energy here. And the Two of Wands reverse, though, is about making up our mind, choosing a path, and knowing what we want. It's like you know you want love, but you want to pursue new love. You're ready to put your heart out there. But then it's almost like, well, I don't know if I'm really ready. I keep getting that. Just as some here could be... Um, divorced but it's also truth clarity justice balance getting what we deserve universal law and order as well things meant to be but the fool is you know not really jumping all in either with it reversed so i keep getting that energy here for you uh capricorn chariot you know moving traveling successful movement forward king of swords definitely could be about divorce here Again, this could be someone that works in military, law enforcement, um, judicial system, education, medical, communications. Hmm. All right. So let's see, um, Capricorn, let's look at the energy around you and see what's going on. All right. For Capricorn, please. Take a look at Capricorn and see what is going on. Let's see. All right, let's take a look at energy around you. This is what we're looking at here. Eight of Swords. Huh. Now, that is crazy. I had felt two people maybe a little stuck about finding new love, but wanting new love. And the Eight of Swords is about being stuck. That is crazy. All right, let's see. Hierophant showing up. Knight of Wands does go after what they want and they make it happen, though. Ace of Swords, Clarity from Source, Awakening, a bit. Four of Cups. It's, you know, a little bit of an unsure energy, uncertainty. Eight of Cups, walking away. So, wow, we got like two of the same energies here. Somebody is clear, they know what they want. They want to take action. Somebody here has walked away from something as well with the Eight of Cups. Two eights here. So walking away from something, but yet feeling stuck. And it could be, you know, maybe this person is divorced. I mean, we do have the Harifin upright, though, but we'll see what else. Um, but the Eight of Cups could be walking away from, you know, like a commitment or a marriage or something like that. What would the next card be? Devil. Yeah, someone has a lot of fear, too, about pursuing new love. Nine of, nine of Wands next. Someone's been through definitely a big battle here. But courting, dating, getting to know you. So, and that's uh, twice here. So I'm feeling like this is somebody around you that may feel the same way you do about finding a new love. So I don't know if you know this person or not, or maybe you're just dating this person and you're like both talking about how 
you know, you know, you didn't know if you were really ready to pursue dating or new relationships after everything that's happened, but it's been some time. Hmm. Interesting. Now the Hierophant is big leveling up, you know, it's morals, traditions, values, standards, um, growth, expansion, learning, growing. Also could be a business owner, entrepreneur, uh, somebody that maybe works for a huge business corporation, industry or something like that. Doesn't have to be though. So we got Taurus, we are in Taurus season right now. Taurus, Sag, let's see what's on the bottom. Queen of Cups, so love is on the table here. Love is on the table or falling in love, but conflicted about that. Five of Wands. Four of Swords in Reverse, always about, you know, done our healing work and we're ready to get up and take action. Cycles closed out, new cycles are here, could be traveling, moving, or distance. Yeah, somebody here, Ten of Pentacles with the world, could be closure, completion of a long, oh, look at this, King Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> and then the Empress behind it, oh my gosh, Chariot again, King of Swords though. I'm almost feeling like these are two people who were in situations before that have closed out situations that are ready for new situations, but not sure if they're truly ready. And it's been some time for both of you. So some of you actually could be just starting, maybe you just met this person, you're getting to know them. And maybe, you know, somebody wants to make that offer of, you know, why don't we just date? Or, uh, you know, if it's a friend or something, maybe they want to... You know, we have a lot in common. You know, we shared a lot. Let's, you know, maybe go on a date or something. Or maybe you are, you know, dating this person. But we'll see. Let's see. All right, Capricorn. Okay. Let's see what else do we need to know. Six of Pentacles reversed. Hmm. Fool reversed. Now, the Six of Pentacles, up, um, whether it's reversed or upright, it's kind of like the Justice card for me, Minor of Justice. Three of Swords. Oh, I don't like that. Seven of Swords. Chariot. I do feel like here somebody had moved away from a very heartbreaking, deceiving situation. The three and the seven is a ten of swords ending. That has been a hurtful ending here. But moving, traveling, distance, but positive moving forward. So somebody has moved out of a situation that was very unbalanced but yet not really ready to jump all in. So, hmm. Capricorn, I'm kind of feeling like there may be some energy of the past lingering around that someone still needs to heal over a little bit. Could be both of you individually or maybe coming together. You could, you know, help the healing process for the two of you in your own, on your, you know, in your own journey. I mean, you shouldn't depend on someone else to heal someone but maybe coming together would speed up the healing process for you individually of your past i'm kind of feeling that too but also there's a reluctancy here to jump all in i don't like this three and the seven of swords but that would be ten endings and then the new beginnings and the ace is right here something is meant to move forward though so we do have cancer aquarius showing up let's see three pen it's all about rebuilding you know, we have to rebuild slow. Take our time. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles, same thing. Not rushing. You know, there's still a lot of things that need to balance out, I feel like, in your lives, perhaps. But Five of Pentacles is, you know, you don't have to be lonely either. Don't have to be lonely either. Because I could feel, you know, a little lonely or abandoned or uh, whatever the case may be. All right, Capricorn, let's see what else we need to know. May singles. I'll be doing new love after these readings. Uh, so you can hang on for that if you're interested in new love as well. If this doesn't resonate. All right. If it is resonating, though, leave me a comment, a like. All the great things would be greatly appreciated. All right. What else do we need to know here for Cap? Let's see. Knight of Cups. That is the courting dating getting to know for a moment romantically. But we do have the Four of Wands here. The Moon nine of wands so oh so here is according dating getting to know or romance moving forward the four of wands can be about the home 
um, stability foundation. Sometimes that's marriage commitment. And then we got the fear or things we can't see. Um, moving forward in the Knight of Wands is struggling here. So I kind of feel like somebody here is struggling about moving forward in a, like, I don't want to say commit a relationship because I don't think it's at that point yet, but say being exclusive for the chance of it moving forward into another relationship. Although, you know, the romance is here, this fear about that forward movement of, of relationships and building them and moving forward into deeper, more committed relationships down the road. So someone's struggling with that because they, you know, they fear what could happen. I don't want to repeat the past. I kind of feeling that as well. So I have Scorpio and Pisces here. I mean, you both could be feeling this, but yet you're feeling the connection to this person. So there's a little bit of uncertainty, anguish here. Um, I feel that with the Seven of Cups. But we do have an Emperor. And strength. Oh my God. So this could be a strong connection. Cannot be denied. Maybe even past lives together. Overcoming. I like that um, strength energy. Overcoming. But that's also could be holding back also can be holding back as well. So I do like the Emperor there. Huh. I would like to see the Empress come out, but we'll see. All right. What else do we need to know about this for Capricorn? About this connection. So if you're already dating this person and you know this is the energy, let's see where it can go. Um, all right. Let's see. Let's see. Nine of Pentacles. Definitely single energy here. Queen, love is on the table for two single people who could possibly fall in love here. Two of Wands about making that choice, about choosing a path together and going down that path of romance again, impossible relationship. Five of Wands, but there's a little bit of conflict, inner conflict. King of Swords definitely could be because of divorce or past situations. I mean, King, Queen of Swords is like my divorced people of the deck or something like that. I'll be next. King of Cups. Look at that. The King and the Queen of Cups here. So there is a chance here for two people to fall in love. But also King of Swords is about truth, clarity, communication, being very clear, direct to the point. So maybe, you know, just being very clear, direct to the point with each other about, you know, this is, you know, don't have to go into details, but this is, you know, how kind of like my past was, whatever, my healing process, where I am now. And what I feel about relationships right now and dating again, finding love again and moving forward and just kind of laying it all out in line because we have two people here who could possibly fall in love into a really great relationship. But I definitely feel like that hesitancy from both sides of, you know, things of the past holding us back and fear of walking that path again. So let's see, we have uh, Pisces, Gemini. Cancer, Seven of Pentacles. So, you know, taking our time, not rushing. But we have the lovers here. So there is a strong connection here just waiting to happen. The lovers here. But being a little stuck with the hangman. Yeah, I kind of felt that. Ten of Wands in reverse. About le letting it all go. Letting all that oppressed energy go. And just leaving the door open for courting, dating, getting to know. Three of Wands. This could be happening like right now. Three of Wands reversed right now. Right now. Eight of Pentacles. So, you know, something here that'll work. Putting in the work as well. And there's the new love right here. So this definitely is about new love or someone you just newly met. And it's about, you know, taking our time, not rushing, being very clear, open, direct to the point. Letting it go where it needs to go. Going with the flow. And just letting it happen, I feel. All right. Capricorn. So let's see. Let's see. Like I said, King of Swords, King Queen don't matter. Um, this could be uh, military, law enforcement, education, health care, medical, judicial system, communications, anything like that. Decision making. Someone makes a lot of decisions as well, uses their mind. All right, let's see. Let's see. So we got the um, 
Divine Feminine Oracle. See what else you need to know, Capricorn. Also, my website's down below, Capricorn. If you do want to check that out, everything you need to know is there. You can find all my socials. You can also find my store. You can shop for yourself. You know, anything tarot, oracle, metaphysical, jewelry, whatever. Uh, you can do that. Also, my merch is there. Um, my wish list, if you do want to send me something or something like that. Or if you just want a tip or buy a latte or something, you can do it there. Or you can do it right here on YouTube. You can hit the thanks button and send a little tip if you want to. And if you do, thank you. But, you know, you don't have to. All right, let's see. The patroness of impossible causes. I am miraculous. My prayers create powerful channels of possibility. The first woman. I am the voice of my body and soul. I choose the life that I desire to live. The goddess of compassion. I recognize suffering in order to release it. Curiosity breeds compassion. Yeah, so I feel like there's been some suffering on both sides. The goddess of abundance. I choose to feel abundant. Wealth is an inside job. So the more we can feel, feel, you know, our own abundance, love, you know, we can let it in our lives too. And we have the saying of true freedom. Love is what sets me free. I am married to my own soul. So I did feel here something about, you know, divorce and something. But also, you may help to teach each other and in healing individually moving forward. And then, you know, this connection kind of solidifying as well. All right, Capricorn, that's what I have for you. So I hope that helped that resonate. Again, everything you need to know is down below. Wishing you the best, and I shall see you next time.